What's up guys, it's Osvaldo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to front lever. This video will have four steps that you will need to do, but remember that you need to feel comfortable with the first step in order for you to move to the second step. If you see this video and you feel that you don't need to do one of the steps, I still recommend you to do it for you to have the best form. For those that have been asking, you can train the front lever three to four times a week, and also you can add it into your abs and back days. The rest between exercise is one minute, but if you still need more time, take it slow, but always do it with perfect form. So I hope you guys understand, so let's start with the training. The first step that I have for you guys today is going to be tuck front lever hold for 10 seconds. I showed you this step in the previous video, how to front lever for beginners. Make sure to engage your lower back for better form. In order for you to master the tuck front lever hold, you need to do the following workout. Exercise 1, tuck front lever hold, max. Exercise 2, tuck front lever raises 10 times. Exercise 3, hanging lamp pull down hold plus knee raises 8 times. Exercise 4, top dragon flag hold 15 seconds. Exercise 5, Tuck Dragon Flag Raises 5 times. Okay guys, that was the workout for step 1. Make sure to master this step in order for you to move to the second step. That's gonna be Advanced Tuck Front Lever Hold, 8 seconds. Like the first step, this step requires a lot of lower back strength, so make sure to have your lower back engaged all the time. In order for you to master the advanced tuck front lever hold, you need to do the following workout. Exercise 1, tuck front lever to advanced tuck 5 times. Exercise 2, tuck L sit to advance tuck front lever 5 times. Exercise 3, advance tuck front lever negative 8 times. Exercise 4, Tuck Dragonfly to Advance Tuck 8 times. Exercise 5, Advance Tuck Front Lever Raises 8 times. Exercise 6, Advanced Tuck Dragonfly Hold, 10 seconds. Exercise 
That was the workout for step two. Make sure to master this step in order for you to move to the third step. That's gonna be single leg front lever hold, five seconds each leg. This step is a little more complicated because it requires the same amount of strength on your lower back, core and lats. So make sure to have those parts engaged all the time. In order for you to master the third step, you need to do the following workout. Exercise one, single leg front lever raises 10 times. Exercise two, single leg dragon flag hold 10 seconds each leg. Exercise three, single leg front lever negative five times each leg. Exercise four, front lever switching legs max. Exercise five, Dragon flag switching legs five times each leg. That was the workout for the third step. Make sure to master this step in order for you to move to a fourth and final step, the front lever hold. Okay guys, that was the front lever hold. If you master step one, two and three, you should be able to hold the front lever. If not, here's a workout for you to master this final step. Exercise one, front lever raises 10 times. Exercise two, front lever negative 10 times. Exercise three, LC to front lever pump five times. Exercise four, dragon flag drops plus hold five times. Exercise five, dragon flag hold 10 seconds. Exercise six, dragon flag raises 10 times. As you guys saw, I included a lot of dragon flag exercises because in my experience, dragon flag is very similar to the front lever. It's similar because you engage the same muscle like in the front lever. So adding those exercises to your training will help you a lot. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for much more and comment down below what you guys want the next video to be about. Thank you so much. See you soon.